Hello everyone and welcome to a new Horizon 4 How To episode for Series 31 Winter PR Stunts. After yesterday's full completion summary, today we'll discuss a bit more in depth about this week's PR Stunts and how to easily and even cheaply complete them. As always, all the details like PR time slots and the tunes used are available in the video description and can be found easily by my gamer tag, Darksider9229. And if this helps and you'd want to support the channel, you can do it with a like, subscribe or message through the Streamlabs link. Thanks! So, starting with Mamtor Danger Sign, 1010.5 feet. You'll probably need an S2 or even X-Class for this as you need speed, lots of it. To be able to make the jump, you'll have to hit the ramp at around 170 miles per hour. But that is not all. As you can see, it has some destructible stuff right on the tip of it. That will cost you around 10 miles of your speed, thus probably leading you to failure. So what you'll wanna do first is clear up the clutter. As long as you don't fast travel too far away, it will stay almost clear. I say almost, as even though you do that, there are three small rocks that magically reappear and which will stand in your way. But at least now you see them. Still, you can always make use of the rewind feature to get the best line and avoid the rocks. Or if you play online, you can just hit them, rewind and continue from there as they won't reappear in mid-jump, like in solo mode where everything is put back together. Time travel. Just as a short example, we have the 599XX Evo, first without clearing anything and it is visible how the speed drops instantly when you hit the ramp. As well as with the ramp mostly clear, thus not only helping you see better the rocks that you have to avoid or crush and rewind, but helping obtain a higher score too. Other cars that can do it easily are the fully upgraded 918 if you get your line right between the rocks. The F12 TDF from the Auto Show. The cheap auction house Mossler. Another Porsche, the Carrera GT. The Radical, which I guess not many of you actually use. The free level 2 Eliminator Toyota Supra. The cheap Lotus 11. And an even cheaper M5. Look at that, a 30 grand car winning the PR stunt. Amazing. Of course, there are probably many more that can do it, like the Yesco, the Shelby Monaco King Combra, and others from the big 700 plus car list. Next, Royal Botanic Gardens Speed Zone, 175 miles per hour. I'd say for this one, any car from my previous Toft Speed Zone video from Winter 30 will most probably be able to get it. You can apply the same strategy and clear the fences around the road if you feel like they stand in your way. Same will go with the street poles in the middle of the road for the following speed trap. Anyway, for this I'll start with the amazing back mono and its awesome grip. Race tires on, are on cornering and it will cut the corners nicely. I really enjoy challenges in which cars that we rarely use nail it, while others struggle in their 599 Evos, Yescos, RS200s and other cars that many over YouTube just love to use without thinking that maybe a new player is watching that doesn't own that yet. So following the same trend, we have the Radical, another amazing 
track toy that many of us probably never used it so far. Turn around when it is safe to do so. As well as the jet fighter like KTM Crossbow GT4. So if you know a car with crazy amount of downforce, use it. Turn around when it is safe to do so. From the tough speed zone, I'll only bring the Lambo GTR, as it is quite cheap in the action house and super grippy, besides the already mentioned black mono from the auto show. Turn around. Well, for the last, Princess Street Speed Trap, 237 miles per hour. This is a tricky one, as you don't have the distance for as many cars to do it, but you're covered with a free car, say two affordable cars and some more expensive ones, besides the Evos, Yescos, Monaco Cobras and so on. So basically, here we can reuse cars from the M68 PR stand video. Like the level 2 Eliminator free Toyota Supra. The Auto Show Aventador. The cheap Auction House Mossler. The more expensive McLaren F1 Followed by a W16 Bugatti Probably any Koenigsegg like this stock one The Centenario The 599 XX Evo from the backstage or the action house, as well as others like the Yesco and so on. And that's kind of it, a couple of cars from cheap to action house to help you easily get this week's PR stunts and the 6% completion that each has to offer. Now it is your turn, let me know which worked best for you, or if you have other cars or tunes, you can leave them in the comment section for everyone to be able to check them out. Hope you've enjoyed this new how-to for Series 31 Winter, and if this helped, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to support the channel, or send good thoughts through the Streamlabs link in the video description. Thanks! See you on Saturday with another Open Lobby live stream in which we help whoever is in need or just have fun around the British horizon. Till then, have fun racing and thanks for your support.